So welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're taking a look at a very cool tool that a lot of you guys probably don't know about. Now this is for your Fire Stick any generation and this is the developer tools. Now this menu options is a lot of apps built in guys allows you to do a lot of cool things and to get it it's pretty simple just go home you're going to search for it and just going to search for developer tools so you can either do your voice function on your remote or you can go ahead and type it in so developer tools and there it is right there guys so go ahead and download the application launch it and here we are so first thing we need to do is go to the tools menu guys so click on that and we want to turn a couple things on so first thing we're going to turn on the system x-ray so click that on you will see that menu appear at the bottom of your screen which is going to give you a lot of useful information i'm going to go over that in a little bit the next one you want to click advanced options on guys and this basically gives you the option to have real-time information about your audio about your video easy to get them on and off guys quickly turn them off you don't want to use them anymore so we'll leave those on for now and as far as the x-ray guys if you go to launch configuration panel you can go ahead and do a couple things with it so you can move it to the top left right and also to the bottom so depending on your preference you can go ahead and move it around let's move it to the right for now and one thing we want to make sure is turned on is multimedia now if that's turned on you won't have the audio and video uh, information on the left of your screen so let me go ahead and turn that off for now and we're going to put the configuration at the bottom of the page and from here we just hit the back button again on the remote so that's one of the tools that's available guys now if you look through you do have a lot of other tools uh, you do have a speed test notification center Wi-Fi scanner find my IP address however on this video we're gonna focus on two tools guys and one's already launched in the bottom of your screen and the other one is the list background applications and process now you guys already aware the fire stick is limited on resources it only has two gigs of RAM which gets eaten up very easily so we're gonna go ahead and install that that's gonna allow us to quickly look at what's open what's being used and we can kill applications based on that so again if you don't have this application guys you'll just click on it it will go ahead and bring you back to the app store you can go ahead and download it since i already have it installed you can see that it'll go ahead and load the information that i need so it's loading the information right now it's going to tell me all the applications that i have open so while this is open guys i'm going to switch over to the mouse just so you guys can see what i'm talking about so these are all the apps that's open right now on my Fire Stick. And you can see at the bottom right here, my CPU and my memory is suffering from this. So let's go ahead and go through the menu of the X-Ray panel. So first you do have my display and this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. It is HDCP 1.0 and if you guys are not familiar, it's basically just a high bandwidth digital content protection, basically put in place to keep you from copying uh, content that's protected. As far as the CPU, we do have a quad core CPU guys. You can see each core right here independently so once I launch applications, those will go ahead and spike and we'll go ahead and take a look at that in a little bit. As far as the memory or your RAM, this comes with two gigs of RAM, guys. You can see 841 megabytes is being used by apps. Other, it's 669 megabytes and available is 169 megabytes. As far as others, a lot of stuff in the background is probably required by your Fire Stick just to run properly. But what we can do is kill some of these applications or these applications up here. And that will basically speed up your device and help it run a little bit faster. Next, we do have our network. And in our network session, we do have the RSSI. Basically, that means the receive signal strength indication. And just for you guys that don't know, negative 30 decibels is an amazing signal and negative 90 is unusable so essentially the lower or the higher in this case because it's negative is going to be a little bit better so where i'm at a 35 to 37 isn't bad but if you guys use this as an indication you can go ahead and position your amazon fire stick just to get the best signal green obviously is better when you get up into the negative 80s and negative 90s it's going to become red so next we do have our system visible data you'll see that fluctuate in a little bit when i launch applications guys you can see the visible as well as the system right here uh last but not least and this is very cool remote a lot of you guys have the remotes the battery is there you just know that when it's dead you just replace it well this gives you a cool indication of the version of remote you have as well as the battery percentage so right now i'm sitting at 65 guys and that's good to know so first thing i want to do let's close out some of these applications and we should see a spike in our available memory so let's go ahead and close all apps all right so tubi i'm gonna force stop
I'm going to back out. We're going to leave set orientation. We're going to force stop crackle. We're also going to force stop speed test. And guys, just look at the available memory. It is starting to move up. So force stop feel low or fire low for some people. I'm gonna stop IP vanish. And the four stop Nord as well. Always keep the VPNs up and running, guys. Especially when I'm streaming. Check the description of this video for VPN deals. So let me four stop Nord. And the four stop Zumo as well. All right. I'm actually gonna leave mouse toggle running. So all I'm doing here is I'm just using the back button. When I force stop an application, I hit the back button again. It automatically goes to the next application. This is YouTube application. Remember, Amazon no longer supports it, so you do have to sideload this application. So I'll put a link in the description of the video I've done showing you guys how to do that. So force stop that as well. This is uh, YouTube TV. Yet again, same story doesn't support it so you can go ahead and sideload it and I recently done a video on that I'll put a link to that as well in the description All right so look at the available memory guys how it's going up as soon as I force stop so check out um, app toy TV once I close it you can see it jumped to 133. And we do have a couple more. Like I said, some of them I chose to just leave running. I know that I'm actually using it or it's being utilized in the background, but I force closed most of the ones that were causing issues. So before we go back, we're going to go back to the main menu. And we want to go ahead and we're going to turn on the display for the actual multimedia. So there it is, popped up. And like I said, guys, this usually doesn't display until you're playing content. The only reason it's doing it right now is because I am recording this video, so it, it detects that as audio. But once you install it, if, if you're not doing what I'm doing right now, it will only pop up when you're playing content. So let's go ahead and check out Pluto TV. And we're going to pay attention to the RAM. We're going to pay attention to the CPU network, as well as the audio and video information in the right. So let's go ahead and launch Pluto. All right, check out the CPU spiking, guys. All right, first core is red. All of them are red. Look at the network right here, visible as well as system. All right, so RAM, more is getting utilized. We'll just go full screen with it. So top you can see the audio format is MP4A. Hardware acceleration is not on. Bitrate is 99. Secure is not. As far as the video codec, it is AVC. Hardware acceleration is on. Input bitrate is 2642. It's not secure. And as far as the resolution, we're looking at 1216 by 684 at 30 frames per second. So let's go ahead and launch YouTube TV. All right, so first thing you notice, guys, is that the CPU is almost at max capacity. All four cores are in red. They're utilizing about 97%, and that will get better as soon as everything is buffered. As far as the network, you can see my transfer speeds are both almost maxed out. RAM is fluctuating a lot. A lot is being used up right now. I look like we're about a little bit over 118 megabytes right now available. And this for sure is a resource-intensive application, guys. So hopefully this video helped you guys with a couple of things to kill both of them, to get them off your screen. If you want to get back to your movie, go back to developer tools and we're just going to turn off the X-ray and we're going to go turn that off as well. Both will disappear. Go back, hit the home menu and you're back to enjoying your fire stick. So hopefully this video helped you. If anything, it'll help you uh, kind of see what's going on with your fire stick, help you kill some applications, see where your resources are being used, see what information is available and just something you can play with just to get a better understanding of what's going on with your device. If you guys have any questions about this, drop them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.